Recently, Mint 20 was released and uh, it comes with a pre-installed application known as Wapinator. And this application is very amazing because it allows you to transfer files between computers in a local network. So this is the application and this is the Wapinator. So in this guide, I'm going to show you how you can transfer files between two Linux machines. Both are running Mint 20 and uh, how you can transfer files basically. So before proceeding, make sure the both systems are on the same local network. To give you an example, so this is my machine 2 and if I run if config here. So this is connected to the Ethernet and the IP address is 192 and 102. And my second machine is this one. This is again Mint Linux 20 and this is also connected to the same network and uh, this has IP address of 103. So let me show you how you can transfer files between the systems using the Wapinator application. So start the application in both the systems. So this will basically initialize the process and uh, deduct any available system that has Wapinator installed in it. So it has detected that there is a system known as Linux S2O and its IP address is uh, this one. This is 192.168.0.102 and this is Takshak at the rate Takshak SH and uh, let me show you the other system as well. So this is the another system and this has also detected that there is a system available at 103 and its name is Taksha Grassroot. So both the systems are detected in the Wapinator. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna double click on it or you can simply click it and I can simply check the status here. The status is online that the Wapinator is open in that system as well. I can also bookmark it for future use and uh, if I want to send the files, I can simply click on this button and browse the file from my system. So I will find the file and uh, I will simply add it here. So I have this txt file here. I'm going to select this one and you can also uh, do this. So simply open up the folder and go to the file and uh, drag and drop the file into the empty box. This will basically add the file. So this is saying like uh, it is waiting for the approval. So let me go to the other machine. So this is the other machine and it has got this uh, notification here. This is saying Linux S2 would like to send you one file and the file name. You can accept it and decline it. I'm going to accept it and this will basically transfer the file. So transfer has been completed and this is saying the file has been received. I can simply click on this folder icon here and this will open up the folder. So this creates a folder in your home directory by the same name Wapinator inside that directory you will find your files. So let me now send from this computer to the other computer. So I'm going to send a file. So I'm going to click on send here. I'm going to browse and I'm going into the pictures directory and I'm going to select this mustang.png and this is again saying waiting for the approval. I'm going into the other computer now. So this has again showing me this incoming file. I can accept it and the file will be transferred. So I can click on this button here and here is the file in this computer. Now I can simply change the wallpaper and uh, here is the new wallpaper. So this way you can transfer files between the Linux systems, especially if you have Mint Linux installed in all of them, then you can use the Wapinator because it comes pre-installed. So that was the guide about how to use Wapinator to transfer files between the systems if they are in a local environment. So let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, take care and keep enjoying Linux.